What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Ikeable. You guys saw the title, you know what we're doing today. And here at the end of the video, I do kind of want to just like touch on what the devs of Fortnite had to say about aim improvements and their whole wonky aiming system. But first, let's get into the tips. Tip number one to improve your aim is to know your settings. So these here are the settings that I like to play with. I play at my X and Y at 0.55. I'm sure all of you guys out here um, crank all of them up and you do that crazy ultimate sensitivity thing and that's cool. As long as it works for you, you guys need to find the settings that you know, you're know you you're most comfortable with. For me, that's 0.55 X and Y axis. And then for my targeting multiplier, which is the newer thing that they added not so long ago, um, that's basically just your sensitivity while you're aiming down the sights with ARs, SMG, shotguns, whatever it is. Looking left and right while you're aiming down the sights is what that sensitivity is for. I feel like the ADS sensitivity is already or initially pretty slow, so I cranked that all the way up to 1.0. Finally, the scoped sensitivity or the scoped multiplier, I have almost at 100, but not quite. It's a little too fast for me at 100. I play with it at 91. Now this applies to sniper rifle scopes and any assault rifle scopes that you come across. Tip number two for aiming better is, of course, burst firing. It's really, it's a really big thing in this game because the recoil is very prominent. Now what you want to do, of course, is just shoot one to like, one to three shots at a time to burst fire to minimize your recoil and really land those shots. If you really just lay on the trigger, then your gun's just going to be recoiling all over the place, the bullets are not going to land, and it's not good. Now while you're burst firing, keep in mind to kind of aim ahead of the person you're shooting at. Even though you might you might be shooting um, with a hit scan gun, like an assault rifle, to compensate for ping, it's best to aim just slightly ahead of them. And this is something I have actually personally experienced, I never knew why my shots weren't connecting, but aiming just slightly ahead because of ping is the way to go. Number three, crouch. Like most other shooters, when you crouch, your crosshair gets reduced in size. And when the crosshair is at a smaller size, then you don't have as much bullet spread. Now that's a really big factor in Fortnite. Even though you might be shooting directly at somebody, there is an amount of spread. And that is why sometimes your bullets might not hit. So to reduce the size of the spread as much as you can, you want to crouch for sure. And if it's possible, if applicable, you want to be standing still. Because as you can see here, when you're running around, your crosshair size is definitely way bigger than it is when you're standing still. So crouch if you can, and definitely stand still if you can, and that will help your shots be a little bit more accurate. Number four, using the auto lock feature. Now, I don't know if this really applies to the PC version of Fortnite Battle Royale, but I have heard of a tip or some kind of trick to use the auto lock aim assist feature that's on the console version. And basically what that is, is you are spamming your left trigger, and when your crosshair is close enough to an enemy, it will kind of shift your crosshairs directly on them, if it's close enough. It's much like Call of Duty, Call of Duty had this feature as well. So I have like a clip or two here of me trying to use this feature, and it, to be honest, it's not something I would like to get used to, but I think it can be a viable option for aiming and I have seen it be a viable option for aiming. As you can see here, it almost gets me killed because I'm not used to it. I'm kind of overcompensating um, aiming and using the auto auto lock on there, but definitely a feature you guys should know about and maybe try out for yourself. Finally, number five, pay attention to the crosshairs on your sniper rifles. As you can see, when you are zoomed in with a sniper, bolt action, semi-auto, whatever it is, they all have these little ticks on the bottom of the crosshair. And what these are for, they are to help you 
have a gauge of bullet drop. And bullet drop's pretty unmanageable in this game. I'm sure you guys have experienced that yourself. If you pay attention to the ticks, it will help you get a reference for where your bullet's gonna drop. You kind of do have to eyeball it. It is something you kind of have to get used to in order to utilize it, but it's definitely a helpful thing and it has helped me land a lot more sniper rifle shots. This kind of does apply to the ARs, the scoped ARs as well. The scoped ARs kind of have these ticks on the vertical and horizontal parts of the crosshairs too. Now, it doesn't measure bullet drop necessarily, but as I was saying in a previous tip, when you kind of want to aim ahead with even a hit scan gun, using those tick markers can help you aim ahead accurately as well. Let's move on to see what the devs have to say about all of this. There's a few bullet points here. I'm just going to highlight some key things, but I urge you guys to read it real quick. We'll look into ways to improve usability on the reticle, including improved readability of your accuracy cone. That's kind of interesting. So it does seem like Fortnite is aware of their aiming stuff and they do and they are looking to improve it. The third bullet here is pretty interesting too. We'll be running prototypes using more recoil and reducing accuracy penalties. The idea behind this is that the first shot will have higher accuracy, but again, not perfect. Like there will be bullet spread. That is pretty cool too. They kind of want to tweak the the recoil and the accuracy there a little bit to make it feel a lot better. So we'll have to see what they have in store for us. Many more updates to come, I'm sure. I hope you guys learned something here and I hope it did help you out. If it did, please drop a thumbs up or a comment to let me know. Share the video with a friend if you want to help them out as well. I put out a new video every Thursday, sometimes even on Monday. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter if you haven't. I will catch you guys in the next video next week. It has been your girl Ikeable. Peace.